Hello everyone, I hope you enjoy the new retelling on the anime Tsugamomo. The layers swirled like a cocoon, and when they finally parted, a girl in a white kimono appeared in front of her. The story begins with Kanzuya Kagami dreaming of a girl lost in the forest, the girl slowly goes deeper into the forest, and then Kagami wakes up and discovers that in a dream he touched his classmate's chest and meets a new adventure. When Kagami tries to wake her up, she gets hit on the back of the head and falls to the floor, but since Kagami Kazui is not an amateur, she misses the opportunity to look into her underwear, and here she makes the second mistake, informing her classmates about it. However, the body of the fallen Obi splits, and a girl appears who saves Kagami from the evil spirit and enslaves him. After defeating the curse, the girl told the hero who her hair was, and disappeared. Returning home, Kagami remembers the events of that night and wonders who was the girl he suddenly found in his bed. In fact, the girl turns out to be Kariba, a mourning goddess from her mother's house. Kariba treated her to sweets, and Kagami went to dinner, but when she returned to her room, Kariba was nowhere to be found. Thinking that she must have left, she went to the bathroom, where she found Kariba naked. While taking a bath together, Kagami finds out that he has known her for a long time. After bathing, he and Kariba slept in the same bed. Morning came. Kariba woke up first and woke Kagami up, but it turned out that Kariba had broken the alarm clock and was late for school. Hurrying to school, the girl said that it was better to be girded with a ribbon, and, closing it in a box, left it at home and hurried to school. As a result, Kagami was late and also forgot to do her homework. After asking her classmates to make a photocopy of her homework, Kagami was scolded by her home teacher, after which she had to do her homework in the library during recess. After finishing his homework, Kagami was about to take his textbooks to the library when he met Kiribo, who punished him by locking him in a box. The box is cursed, and the only way to get out of the library is to find the cursed item. After several unsuccessful attempts, Kariba decides to break down the library door first. After that, the main character, her classmates, and the spirit are transferred to another dimension to fight the curse. In the end, to get rid of the curse, they need to fulfill the wish of Chisot, Kagami's classmate. Chisot's desire is to help Kagami with her studies, the curse is lifted, and they return to reality. The next day, Chisot comes to Kagami's apartment and sees Kagami sleeping with Kariba. It turns out that the curse is the work of a god named Kukuri, who rules this place. While walking down the street, Shiro's classmate meets a mysterious woman who is looking for Kagami, but Shiro offers to tell her where she is if she goes to lunch with him. At the cafe, Shiro lets her choose the dishes herself. As a result, the woman, Kokuya, selects the entire menu. After a pleasant lunch, she leaves a man with a debt. Already at school, Kagami meets Kokuya and orders him to go with her, leaving Kiribu behind. Kiriba expresses his displeasure and challenges Kaniya to an arm wrestling match. If she wins, he says he will go with her. The fight takes place on the roof of the school, and Kiriba wins. Then Kiriba and her friends go to the temple of the goddess, with them goes the village headman Chitos. At the temple, they meet a goddess named Kukuri, who tells them that the curse in the world is caused by Kagami and that it is she who should remove it. Kariba refuses and fights with the goddess, but in the end Kariba and Kagami begin to lose the battle. Kagami, while in a state of emptiness, meets a strange girl who tells her about Kariba. It turns out that Kariba is bound by a contract, and in order to free her, Kagami must learn to protect himself and become stronger than her. She then teaches him how to defeat the goddess. Regaining consciousness, Kagami asks Kiribu to take the form of a belt, and then joins forces with Kiriba's army. However, in the end, almost defeating Kukuri, she manages to take Kiribu hostage, and Kagami has no choice but to accept the offer to capture the curse. Then Kukuri drops the mask from his face and turns into a girl. She is weakening, and the mask, it turns out, has retained some of her strength. Eventually, Kukri reveals that the whole fight was set up by Kagami to force Kiriha to accept the curse. Soon they returned home and took a bath together. Kagami realized that she was getting smaller and that the reason for this was a huge waste of energy. 
so he decided to find clothes for Kariba that she could wear in a reduced state, and enlisted the help of a classmate who had very specific interests. Kariba is weak and cannot fight back in this state. Kagami needs to become much stronger, and the two decide to train together. Meanwhile, the Kokuri temple needed repairs, but the goddess did not have the money to pay for it. When the repairs failed due to bad weather, the goddess and her accompanying Kokuya decided to look for a new temporary shelter. On the way, the goddess was surprised to find Kagami and Kiriha, who were in bad shape while training. Later, they all went to the new temple of the goddess, which turned out to be a playground. The goddess told them that there was a 10% chance that the curse would come true, so there was nothing to worry about. At school, Kagami was called by the head of the school council, whom he helped at the beginning of the story, and it turned out that there was a monster in the school who needed Kagami's help. This monster is a student who can draw pictures on the clipboard, which are then projected onto reality. So, when they drew the Minotaur, it became a reality and attacked the main characters. They had no choice but to fight the Minotaur and defeat him with the help of their ingenuity and fire extinguishers. Eventually, the clip broke and the curse was lifted. Further, on the roof of the school, Director Chisot confesses his love to a classmate, but is refused. Not satisfied with this, the defeated classmates make a wish. The desire was to turn the school into a game novel and win the hearts of girls by forcing boys to choose the right answer. Chitosa's childhood friend, who aimed at the heart of a losing classmate, was also affected by this desire. Since then, Kagami has been competing for Chisot's heart according to the rules of the novel game, but eventually loses the game due to one incorrect answer. The last chance to save Chisot remains, to win by taking advantage of a random event for which all points are awarded, and at the last moment Kagami manages to melt Chisot's heart. The loser admits defeat and goes into oblivion. But it didn't end there, the curse continued to work, and while Kagami and Chisot were in the hospital, Kariba and Osamu were looking for him. Then, in the evening, Chitos tied Kagami to her bed and told her to make love to her, since the novel version was for adults, but at the last moment Kariba found something that had a curse and counteracted it. Kagami and Kariba decided to visit the new temple, more precisely, the playground, of the goddess Kurumi. They learned that the goddess needed time to regain her power, and that rebuilding the temple would speed up this process, but the goddess did not have money, and she decided to demolish the playground. After losing their temple, Kururi and Kaniya moved to the mirror house, but soon realized that they could not stay there, and decided to borrow money from another goddess. However, the goddess turns out to be a masochist, addicted to erotic card games, and the main characters try to convince the masochist goddess in order to defeat her. While Kariba was distracted, Kurumi swapped the cards and managed to deceive the goddess Taguri, only this method violated the rules, and although they eventually received a lot of money, they had to endure several vulgar expressions. When Kagami came back to school, she came across something interesting. To her surprise, her classmate Shiro suddenly became the most popular in the class and a curse was placed on her cologne. Classmates, not seeing this, decide to confiscate the cleaver. After the chase, White manages to escape to the roof of the school, where he is told to get rid of the cologne, but the cologne accidentally falls under Kagami, and the whole way home turns into an escape from schoolgirls. As a result, the spell has affected everyone in the house, and Kagami decides to break it. Over the next week, the white dew began to smell terrible. Kagami is called by the chairman of the school board with information that a strange girl has appeared at school and is pestering lonely people. As it turns out, this girl was alive two years ago, and now she's dead, which means they have a curse in front of them. Kagami and Chateau start asking classmates about her and find out that she had a younger sister, and she was also a member of their classmates' fan club, as a result, they themselves encounter her, get into a fight, and she eventually runs away. Eventually, the main characters realize that the cursed girl is looking for people who witnessed her death, and they catch her next to one of them. It turns out that the cursed girl and her sister are working together, and their goal is to find out what was written in the suicide note. The witness gives a will, and it turns out that the girl had a curse on her to kill her sister, but the cursed girl, or sister, 
decides to commit suicide so as not to harm her sister, and now the main characters face the same curse. After the final battle, Kagami and Hiriko manage to lift the curse and free their sister. There was only one hair left of the damned girl. After the curse is lifted, the main characters gather in the student council room to discuss the events of the previous night, when suddenly the sister, who cannot speak because of the curse, enters the room, scaring the main characters. After the morning meeting, Kagami returns to the locker room and is suddenly attacked by a red-haired girl named Suena. The battle continues, in which Kagami has no chance to win, but Kariba, who is still weak, comes to Kagami's defense, but still the battle does not stop, and they both suffer defeat. It is later revealed that Suenao is also an exorcist, and that the attack was just an unsuccessful test for Kagami. Suenao became one of the cursed killers after the death of her brother. For this, she promised to avenge the curse, but the moment she caught up with him, he was already in the hands of Kanaka, Kagami's mother. Then she swore revenge on Kanaka, challenged him to a duel many times, lost many times, and now Suenao challenges his son to a duel. However, after discussing it with Kariba, she and Kariba began to prepare for the duel. 